So today I'm going to be prepping this big ammonite nodule. As you can see, the keel of the ammonite is already exposed partially uh, along the edge. And this comes from Lyme Regis, so dates from the Jurassic about 200 million years ago. This looks like it's a microdurosorous ammonite because um, it has the double row of spines running along the whirl. Um, this is typical of a birch eye nodule from this area with these calcite veins and cracks running through it, which can make this um, nodule pretty unstable um, and can also impact the, the ammonite itself. So it's a bit of a gamble, these nodules, and we'll take our time and we'll see, hopefully, that the ammonite has survived and we'll make sure that we stabilise this uh, nodule as we go. So uh, I'm going to do a time lapse of the, uh, of the prep of this over the next few, few minutes. All of the equipment I'll put in the... Uh, uh, in the uh, description below. So thanks very much.
So we've now exposed all of the ammonite itself and it looks in great condition, which is brilliant news. Um, it's even managed to preserve these little fossilized worm tubes um, on the outside of it, which is great. Bad news is though that the, um, that the calcite veins have really ripped through the rest of this matrix. So to make it stable, I'm gonna remove all of the rest of the matrix, which will help because these birchine nodules are prone to shrinkage. So all of that excess matrix, I'm now gonna take off and then we'll see the final ammonite.